The community in the Hanjuro Sub County Kasese district is largely engaged in food growing as a source of livelihood. A river flowed through the area and ideally this should have made it easier for the farmers but many women in this rural area are seeking alternative ways of survival other than cultivation. One of the alternatives they have taken to is learning how to bake and make snacks as a source of income. The training in baking could have come handy, but the main problem for the people here is clean and renewable energy as a source of power for this small-scale activity. Most of these people depend on wood as their only source of fuel, and this means they have to cut down trees, thereby destroying the environment. This is Lubilia Kawembe Power Station on River Lubilia in Ihandro Sub-County Kasese District. This power station is 67 kilometers from Pondre Town near the uganda dr Congo border. The State Minister for Mineral and Development, Peter Lokeris, recently commissioned the 5.4 megawatt power dam. It is expected to provide electricity to at least 37,000 families here in a clean and eco-friendly way. At the time we were also using uh, diesels and so on, the thermal generators. Those produce a lot of steam and they are environmentally not very good. But our country is so blessed that we have the water, we have the sun and other sources of clean energy. This is the type of clean energy that you want which does not pollute the environment. According to officials from Frontiers Energy that is behind the construction of the dam, the water is diverted from Luviria River for about three kilometers downhill through the hilly and terraced terrain to the power dam. The potential for the generation of more power here is high and this can be checked with a feasibility study for a clear understanding of the terrain. With good diversion, the water can produce higher pressure and therefore more power. Lubilia utilizes a 2.5 cubic meter per second flow for about 2 kilometers through a controlled conduit. The water turns the twin jet horizontal shaft turbines, generators and transformers. So what happens is uh, you are utilizing uh, uh, the water flow energy and when it goes through a high head, that energy actually moves the turbine. So what happens is uh, when the runners start turning, when the turbine is running, it um, ignites a movement in the generators and then through transformers and the transmission line, power gets into the transmission line until it's finally received by the final consumer. The dam uses the latest technology for renewable energy to conserve the environment. Uh, we don't take away a single drop of water. The way we tap it off the river at the intake point and we traverse it through uh, two kilometers and uh, going down by about one kilometer into the hydropower plant, it's more or less the same way it goes back into the river. In other words, you've not really uh, consumed the natural resource. You've uh, used its energy uh, to produce electricity, but more or less you are taking back power into the river in, in more or less its original form. According to the Electricity Regulatory Authority, this is one of many projects constructed with the aim of conserving the environment through power generation as a key principle. Renewable energy continues the life of society. It keeps the, the coexistence between the community and, uh, and, uh, and the resource that has been developed. It means that when the project is built on the river, it does not deprive the community in the use of the river. The electricity sector regulator is also encouraging the use of solar energy since it's clean, safe and environmentally friendly. But when we created the GetFit program and we said now solar is part of the, of the, of the technology being supported, the amount of interest in solar in Uganda can only uh, be accommodated to a certain extent. We have had interest coming from everywhere, people asking for 100 megawatts, asking for 50 megawatts, others asking for 30. But because of the inclusion of that component into Get Fit, right now we have 20 megawatts. People running small-scale factories in Kasese and neighboring districts are preparing for the new power source that they hope will transform their lives. Suhail Mugavi, NTV Green.